here we are. This is second gen Nexus 7 with a broken screen. And the LCD is working fine, but the touch screen is broken. And uh, the way it's broken, it's not completely dead, but it just chaotically registers uh, touches, which makes the tablet impossible to use even with a mouse. So uh, I wanted to uh, find some apps to disable the touchscreen inputs, but unfortunately all the apps I found also disabled the mouse input. So that's not the way to go. So I figured uh, I'll try to manually disable the touchscreen and it turns out that's pretty easy, so uh, just watch how to do it. So first of course we have to remove the back cover with a plastic prying tool or something else, that's just your choice. And once you open it, uh, you have to first uh, release the speaker connector on this sound, right here. And then you need to release these two connectors. I just focus the camera right here. So the way to do it is to first uh, release them back here and then peel off this sticker, this uh, silver sticker. Okay, so as you see, the connectors are released. So uh, the left connector is the LCD and the right one is uh, the touch screen. So what you want to do is connect just the left connector and uh, leave the right one unconnected. Like this and just close the connector back again. Yep. Now you just need to connect back the speaker. Okay, consider it connected, it doesn't matter. So now I'll just turn the device on uh, with this button. Show that it's actually working. I need to press it for longer. See, it's working just fine. So now all you need is just a USB mouse and OTG cable or just Bluetooth mouse if you already have one paired. So I'll just sh show you the USB mouse with this small OTG. Well, not cable, just dongle, I guess. Okay, so as you can see, the device is booted up. I have a wireless mouse connected here. And uh, as you can see, it's working just fine.